All right, guys, how are we doing today? Steve Mingle Co. Final Web Design. Today's video I want to talk about is PHP and PHP skills still relevant in 2025. So let's get into it. Final Web Design, this is Steve. Video, we're going to go over why PHP is still absolutely relevant in 2025 and why I think learning PHP is probably one of the best backend languages you can typically learn or just languages in general because basically really it's WordPress. So let's go in here to look at the top 10 platforms for developers with PHP. First of all, what is a CMS? It's a content management system that basically allows you to kind of prioritize your website through content as opposed to having to code out all of your pages. Why is it important to use a content management system? Because it makes simplifying and managing your website a lot easier than trying to, again, code everything up. And it will often have like responsive technology behind it so that when you're doing these pages and you're adding new information and you're adding blogs, you don't have to, again, kind of redevelop the entire page from the ground up. CMS platform is obviously important because you want to go with a product or a platform that's going to be able to evolve with your business, evolve with the future, make sure that you're able to continue to learn and grow with that platform and that it's either like an open source where it's being worked on by the public and not some private company that you're going to have to obviously pay going forward. So just a few things here. User friendliness is obviously important. You want something that's easy to use and friendly for if you're giving it to clients or other professionals. Design templates. What kind of products are out there that you can use as far as template themes, pieces that you can construct to help build your website in a quicker fashion. Uh, data portability. So can you bring your databases in easily? Is it working with PHP my admin? Is it working with MySQL? So all these are kind of important factors to consider. Uh, user support. Is there good documentation? Is there good resources out there? Are there other people? Are there YouTube videos? Anything that you need. So let's just look at, here's actually the list right here. And I'll go through all of these in a little bit of detail. I won't spend too much time. But WordPress obviously is what I highly recommend. WordPress is awesome, it's open source. There's a huge community, there's a lot of documentation. There's a lot of resources out there that you can use. There's a lot of help you can get if you need other developers or people to help you with your website. Um, WordPress has powered a huge amount of websites that are currently out there. So just taking a look at this quickly, it says WordPress is widely used open source content management. It's been around since 2023. It's very user friendly. It allows you to create, edit, and publish content without requiring expensive technical knowledge. Now, yes, there is a learning curve behind WordPress, but it's nothing like trying to build a HTML, CSS, JavaScript responsive website from the ground up. WordPress supports a wide range of content types, including text, images, videos, and documentations. Um, one of the strengths of WordPress is a large community, which I kind of just mentioned. There's also a lot of plugins, a lot of extensions, a lot of third party pieces out there that you can use to ingrain with your website. WordPress is written in PHP. So that's why I say PHP is so important. I'm already talking about WordPress, which is powering 80% of the websites out there. It is highly scalable and can handle websites of all sizes. It also is a good blogging platform that's built into the actual WordPress CMS with the post features. Details, WordPress accounts for, okay, 76, I think I said 80 percent of the CMS market. It purports a lot of languages, a lot of plugins. I kind of mentioned this. So those are some of the power, the positives, accessibility, large plugins can require updates. I mean, you're going to find that with anything that's pretty standard technology evolves. Open source means it's open to more hackers. I mean, yes and no, as long as you keep stuff up to date, you're usually able to pre prevent some of that. Uh, customization requires a deep level of understanding. Yes, it does, but then again, that's why I say learn PHP because you're gonna be able to have that flexibility to make those customizations. The next one, and I'll be a little bit quicker with these ones, is Joomla. I used to love Joomla. I highly supported Joomla up until it became incredibly difficult to update the system platforms from like version two to three and then three to four, and I think now it's four to five, and it's just got increasingly hard. But Joomla is a PHP CMS, and it's integrated with sites and the hosting provider can make responsive websites a breeze, has a very nice user interface in the back end that I highly recommend. It's one of the best PHP platforms out there. 
Uh, about 6% of websites rely on Joomla, so it's a far second to WordPress. However, it is still a PHP, and that's why we recommend using PHP. One of the top three CMSs with free plugins and themes, supports multiple languages. Uh, some of the pro cons are it's not as SEO friendly. Now with WordPress, you're gonna need something like a Yoast SEO. However, those plugins are free. They're very easy to use. So number two there is Joomla. Joomla is awesome. Uh, it's just not as awesome as it used to be. But again, it's PHP. Knowing PHP is important because again, all these platforms use PHP. Drupal. Drupal is really cool. I do like to use Drupal. I don't use it a lot. It's a very small percentage of websites. Drupal is an open source PHP CMS that allows for users to create and manage websites and web applications. It provides flexible and powerful platform for building a wide range of websites from personal blogs to complex enterprise level applications. So yes, Drupal is more of a scalable system. You're gonna be able to have a lot of customization and features if you ever get to that stage and need that. Uh, Drupal is a lot of modules and different pieces that can be used together. Uh, big companies such as NASA, Harvard, Tesla use Drupal. So there is a big, you know, m corporate America reference when it comes to a platform like Drupal. Um, Drupal has around a million users, a lot of languages. Um, can be greatly expanded. The best PHP CMS for websites with a lot of traffic. Again, more of that enterprise type. Uh, it is a, a more difficult platform to understand for developers. It's not as straightforward as WordPress or Joomla, and installing modules and stuff is not as easy. So, Drupal would be number three. Again, these are all platforms using the PHP backend uh, language. So, it's incredibly important still in 2025 to know. PHP because this is going to be the number one backend language that's going to be used with all of these platforms, which powers a large percent of the internet. October CMS, this is another PHP based on Laravel framework, which is basically an app, uh, a language, a framework of PHP, Laravel. Um, it allows you to make a lot more customizations. It has its own community. It has its own ecosystem of plugins and themes. It's based on Laravel which is increasingly popular. Pros, it's open source, uh, versatile, expandable. You can grow with it. It does require developers to have that understanding of Larbell, which is a little bit more complicated. And there's fewer users in a platform such as WordPress or even Joomla. So let's go to the next, which is OpenCart. This is ideally for e-commerce websites that are using, again, PHP backend. OpenCart allows for well-featured PHP CMS that gives plenty of scope to developers that want to build these online e-commerce stores. Allows more than 20 ways to pay. It has it easy to set up and get started. There's free themes. There are thousands of available modules and extensions. It makes it easy to set up sites and different managers. Some of the cons are that it's not as technically friendly. Um, it's not very SEO friendly, although there are workarounds around that. It's not even a system that keeps up to task from within modules. So use open card if you're getting into e-commerce. But again, I would almost recommend if you're going to use a PHP backend, you use something like WordPress and then just incorporate WooCommerce. That's going to make your life a little bit easier. A lot more resources out there. Expression Engine is one of the best PHP-based CMS systems for the sites that need to handle large amount of content. It's an excellent PHP-based CMS with an architecture that can be modified and customized scripts. So this is just another CMS platform using PHP. My, my theory behind telling you all these is that basically you're understanding how important PHP is and how many websites it powers. I'm not going to go through all the pros and cons of these remaining. Pyro CMS, it's an open source content system using the PHP programming language and Laravel. Friendly platform creating and managing websites and web applications. So there you go. Um, Magento, that's probably the one that I would recommend the next. Is Magento is powered by Adobe which is a very, well, it's owned by Adobe. So Magento is an e-commerce platform as well. It's very innovative for online stores. Companies like Nike, Ford use Magento. This is one you'll probably come across at some point in your career because Magento is pretty popular when it comes to e-commerce. There's a lot of features and functionality you can do with Magento, but it is in the end of the day powered with a PHP 
back end. The platform is feature rich and modern e-commerce store. It's very accessible, a large community of plugins and extensions, scalable for big apps. Some of the cons is the premium and enterprise versions are pricey. So again, this gets into why it's owned by Adobe now because it does have costs associated with it. It's slightly slower. Uh, it only works with dedicated hosting. So there's a few reasons to kind of stay away from Magento, but overall Magento is very popular still, powers a lot of e-commerce, PHP backend stores. The next two I'll just review quickly. It's Craft CMS, it's another PHP backend, and Typo3 is a PHP backend. So basically in the conclusion is that we've taken a dive into all of the PHP CMS frameworks and covering the most popular solutions in the market today. The choice of the PHP CMS platform will ultimately depend on your unique needs and goals. Each platform comes with its own sets of features, pros and cons. So you're going to go through this. Um, just my two cents is if you're building anything going into 2025 and you're going to be using the PHP framework, it's going to be WordPress. WordPress will do everything all of these will do. It's open source, it's free, um, and it does not cost you anything with a lot of support, a lot of plugins and features out there. Be sure to learn PHP in 2025. Anybody who says otherwise is just not, not up to date because this is what is powering most small business. This is what is powering most companies. This is what makes websites in 2025 so attractive. So yes, PHP, super important. Get to know it. Uh, if you like this video, a like and subscribe, that helps. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.